good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog it is friday morning right now um this i am right now getting the printer all set up um it seems that there's a pretty big clog in the yellow color so i have to do a couple um steps to get it up and going but right now it's 8:45. we are wrapping up this week um it's been probably one of the craziest weeks we've had in a very long time tell you guys a little bit more about it later um and i'll also update you guys on the social media that i told you last week that i was going to mine is already in like six different places at once so if i seem a little scattered bear with me but if you are new here my name is Vic. i am the owner of ww transfers as well as ams transfers um so basically we create ready to ship as well as custom transfers if you guys don't know what transfers are they are we'll go a little bit more into detail show you guys a little bit about what they are but this is basically what they look like you've probably seen them before um, and you deep breath some onto your garments so we are off to a strong start today we got to get this printer up and going but i will update you guys in just a little bit here all right guys this printer does not that was my latest one that clog is too big it just does not want to go smoothly today so we are going to throw in some of this and wait 20 minutes and hopefully that will fix all the clogs fingers crossed all right guys time is 9 27 after the clock buster i ran some cleanings it looks good so everything looks okay now it took me like an hour to get this printer up and going which is really annoying but what are you gonna do so i'm gonna let that print and these are gonna be customs first and then um, we'll print some ww but i thought i would update you guys on what's been happening this week all right so while this printing i thought i would give you guys just kind of like a little update what's been happening um this week so i think the last i told you guys was last week or last like friday and we had a 300 screen print transfer order place um that we were planning to do monday which we did so it started monday we had um the 300 screen print transfer orders which isn't a big deal but then we also had added on 300 additional ones for another order that was rushed. So that was Tuesday. So we're already up to like 600 transfers just on Monday that we were working on or that we needed to get placed for the, the next coming days. And then on top of that, so then that, like those were the two big ones. And then we had a bunch of little ones. Um, I think there was 150. So overall this past week, Jake and Alex have printed over a thousand transfers, which is crazy. Um, and that's just on custom orders. <laughs> so that was screen print transfers. And then we also had two big t-shirt orders placed. One was for a local, or both were for local schools um, in our area. Um, one was, so both t-shirt orders were for schools in our area. Um, they were both 200, one was 200, a chest logo, two color, one chest logo, one back logo, um, which is one that Alex is actually working on right now. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And then another one is just a one color, but it's got multiple placements. So we got those added on this week. And then on top of it, okay, I had to fix the printer, but, um, and then on top of it, I've told you guys last week, I've really been working on my social media. Um, I actually had my first TikTok go pretty viral in terms of like viral. I think it's sitting at about 400K views right now with like 40K likes or 30K likes around there. Um, so that brought in a lot of WW transfer orders as well that needs to be printed. So I'll actually show you guys, I'll add in what the video was. Um, Maybe I'll play it over this clip or maybe I'll just add it in at the end. But it was actually for, I'll show you guys, this hoodie right here. I don't know if it was like the interaction that I was getting because everyone was interacting with it because of course like Halloween Town's like a 90s movie or it's an early 2000s, late 90s movie. So people were like, I need that, I want that. And then I think the interaction just helped build it because it's still growing right now, which we love to see. Um, 
So that has brought in a lot of orders specifically for this transfer, but then on top of it, other people have been shopping on our website. So it's just been a crazy week in terms of sales and um, quantity of the transfers that we need to print. But we've kept up the pace. The week has flown by. It's gone by insanely fast, which Jake was even telling me yesterday that he felt like it was going fast too. Um, but I guess when you're busy, it's just... One of those weeks, like again, I tell you guys, I told you guys at the beginning, I feel like my mind is in five different directions right now and that, that's how it still feels. So I'm actually going to work on posting some TikToks today. Um, I've been posting one every day, but I want to have some queued up for the week or the weekend because on top of that one going viral, the, I also have another one that's at like 30K views right now and it's growing by the minute. So. I need to just make sure that I have videos lined up. Um, for, but my viral video went viral a week after I had started posting every day, using the stories, linking my shop products. So I think just like the more I'm using their platform, I mean, I, of course they love to see it. So I don't know, we're gonna keep pushing it, gonna keep trying. Um, I have to think of some ideas because right now, earlier I was trying to think of some TikToks to post and what I could and I honestly feel like I have nothing in my brain. So I'm going to spend some time on TikTok right now trying to find one or find a few actually and then watch the printer going. Um, Jake's not in the office today so Alex is actually in the back printing and that's the majority of what he's going to be doing. But yeah guys it's exciting that and then on top of just um, views and everything my followers have grown quite a bit so if you guys aren't following on TikTok make sure you do that's where I'm the most active TikTok and Instagram but I've really been trying on TikTok um, but yeah I'll keep you guys updated to see if that grows anymore today usually around lunch it'll start to grow more um, but we'll see all right guys just uploaded a TikTok right here just like showing people how they can make that crew neck that everyone has been asking about. Um, so something I was learning that like I think helped with, I have headphones on so that is blasting in my ears. Um, what happened? Maybe I just can't see it, I don't know. You link a product. Let me see if I can go on a different one. Hold on. Okay, so while I'm figuring out what's happening with my TikTok. Um, yeah, so basically you can, if you have a TikTok shop, you can link products from your TikTok shop into the video. So since I filmed the video with the Halloween Town transfer, um, I linked that one. I don't know if it showed up. I think it might be my internet that's acting weird right now. Um, I hope that's the case because I want people to be able to find it um, okay let's see you guys are gonna figure this out with me but okay it didn't link that's weird this one linked this one did not okay I don't know why it didn't link that's weird but basically you can see right here on this one, this was the viral one. Um, you can link like your product. So if you click here, it takes you to my transfer of that type. Um, I really wanted that to link there, but I guess it didn't. <sighs> Guys, I swear, I today I'm trying to get things done and I just can't win. When I was filming that TikTok, the printer decided that it was going to be complicated and not print the right colors. So I had to stop that. I just can't win today. But that's okay. We're not going to let it get us down. We're going to drink some coffee and we're going to carry on with the day. You guys hear the pain in my voice? <laughs> in the meantime, let's figure out what this printer is doing. You can also see, like, see right here, these are all supposed to be um, red. I don't know why they are yellow. And right here, you can kind of see it. This is when I caught it. But it's also out of registration, so we're going to figure out what the printer is doing. It clearly needed my attention. Guys, I cannot even begin to explain to you what happened in these last couple minutes. I think it's just time for me to go home. Um, basically, 
I was told you guys that I had to fix the printer. Um, so I got all that fixed and I was like, all right, we're back on track. Everything's good. And then I went to turn on my music because I have my earbuds in and my music wasn't working. And I was like, what is happening? Like everything, that everything's breaking this morning. So I'm sitting there disconnecting my AirPods, connecting them again, not working. I was like, whatever, go to TikTok. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to check why my TikTok didn't post the product, which update it ended up posting it but I guess my TikTok needed updating so I updated it but then I'm playing it and this is probably after like 10 minutes of my volume not working and I was like okay well my volume isn't working with my airpods in so I need to take it out so I take it out I play my music and I was like it's not my phone because I had the volume down on zero on my phone so it was 100% my fault and it makes me mad that it was my fault right now and that I wasted 10 minutes of like, cause I was just angry. I was like, this day is going terribly. Everything's not working, but it's all been things that have been my fault. Well, besides the printer. So the updating, it ended up posting with the product that didn't need to be um, stressed about. My volume was 100% my fault. So I think that it's one of those days where your frustration seems to make everything worse. And I was talking to Alex about this the other day, how I really like sometimes just as like humans, we let our emotions run. If we're frustrated with something, it kind of like everything falls apart after that because you're already frustrated. So everything seems like it's the end of the world. That's basically where I'm at. So right now I'm going to take the next five minutes to just decompress and try to restart this day. Printer is going, TikTok going fine. Social media is good. My computer, oh yeah, that was another thing. My computer wouldn't turn on this morning. It needed to update. It's all up and going. So we're just going to take a second to breathe <laughs> and hopefully get everything finished without any more training. All right, guys. TikTok update. Okay, so that TikTok is actually off to a great start. Um, that's what I want to see. It's got, I think, a thousand views right now, and I only uploaded it like maybe less than an hour ago. Um, so if you guys do have any questions about sizing, basically the way we do our sizing for the designs is um, for small to mediums, we typically make them 11 inches wide, um, depending on the height. So some of the designs I have on my website are really long designs. Um, so those will make 11 inches in height, but, and then whatever the um, software picks up as like a good width for that, that will not like distort, distort the image, if you get what I'm saying. Um, we don't want it to look stretched or anything like that. So if they're either going to be 11 inches in length if it's a longer design or 11 inches wide if it's a shorter design. That is going to work with the majority of small to um, XL sizes. Now, if you're looking at wanting to get 2XL to 5XL, those were, would make a little bigger just so that they don't look too small on the garment. And uh, same thing with um, toddler U sizes. You're going to want those to be obviously a little smaller than 11 inches. So we tell people um, if you want anything, any like custom sizes, I was just talking to someone actually right now. If she was looking for like custom sizes to reach out to me, let me know and I'll definitely work with her. Um, but just so all the ones on our website are 11 inches wide or 11 inches in height. I don't think I've ever talked about that. Actually, I actually came over here to show you guys what I mean when I say um, sizes, like length. So you see this design right here. This is our uh, Sanderson Sister Vogue. It's kind of longer. So this one is 11 inches in height. But then if you go to like these right here, these are going to be 11 inches in, which this is one of our new designs. Isn't it cute? This is going to be 11 inches width because it's not long, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then of course there are things like pocket logos, um, which we don't have any on WW transfers. If it's a pocket logo, it typically is going to come in a gang sheet size. Um, so you'll get a whole back design or front design with a pocket logo. If you're doing customs, um, three to four inches would be the great sizing for a pocket that will work with, again, the small to, I think the, like if you did four inches, 
you would work well even up to like 5x. It would just depend, but and what the look you want, obviously. So if you want like a bigger design, you're gonna wanna go the bigger. But that's just kind of like a little insight on how we um, size things. Everyone always asks questions, and I answer a lot of messages asking, is this gonna work on a size small? Is this gonna work on a size medium? So that's kind of just like a little insight so you guys know in the future. Um, even just like the general rule of thumb for sizing is 10 to um, 12 inches for a full front design um, and then 12 usually 11 to 12 for a back that's just like standard for sizing all right got all those ww designs up and going in the meantime let's go check on what alex is doing isn't this a great angle so these are the shirts it's a front design front logo and then um, a back so it's 200 of these if you guys know anything about screen printing t-shirts you have to do one color and then um, the second so this was a two color I actually made a TikTok of me um, printing this and putting on this shirt yesterday but look how cute it is On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Guys, this is truly crazy. I don't think I've ever had a video that has, I'm about to refresh it. Like, look at that. It's just going up by the minute. That's been this many views and only, like I've only posted this an hour ago. And it's already at 4,100 views. There's 10 people on the website, four orders have been placed. And then there is five TikTok orders that were placed. So let's send all the TikTok good vibes into the universe that this continues to grow because this is crazy. It's like a great problem to have, but I do not think I am going to be able to keep these Halloween Town Transfer stocks throughout Halloween. I think that it's just gonna be, we're gonna be making some every day. I have like 50 printing right now. And that's just for orders that are due today, not the ones that we have to ship next week. Truly crazy. Okay, you guys are probably so sick of hearing this, but this is insane. So I showed you, look at this. I uploaded this two hours ago. I'm trying to zoom in. Look at those stats. 21,000 views, 600 likes, and guys, our website is blowing up. There's like 50 people on the website. Already 12 TikTok orders. All right, just finished up the transfers. So I'm going to cut them out because it was like actually a perfect timing because the film just rolled out. So you know what? We're going to we're going to keep that for um Monday's job. But I was just checking in on my post still going, still popping off. Um, we made a bunch of orders. Look at all these. That's crazy. That's just from like the last couple hours. much later it's almost it's actually a four o'clock exactly um i finished packaging up some of the orders some customs got all the customs out and then we packaged some ww from tiktok shop as well as our um website so alex also finished all the shirts which is great we had a goal to um get them done in two days and he accomplished that so shout out to him for finishing those up but thank you for just hanging out with me today. I know it's been like a weird, I don't even know what I've vlogged today, honestly. Um, I know it's been a lot about my TikTok. Um, so right now I'll give you guys one last update and then if you want to see what it's at by the time, well, we'll get there. Uh, so right now it's at 80, okay. Right now it's at 80.6K views. I've gained 200 followers from it and then just um, a bunch of orders. 
So if you guys want to see what it is at by the time this video, video is posted, you can follow my TikTok. It's right in the description below. All of my socials will be in the description below, but I'm most active probably on TikTok. Um, but thanks for hanging out, guys. I know I say this every week. I will try to start vlogging more in the week. Um, it truly would have just been impossible this week with how crazy everything was. Um, but if you guys want to check out the new designs that I posted today, feel free to check out our website, www.transfers.com. If you are needing custom transfers or you are needing um, really anything, screen print, DTF, we've got you covered. You can go to amstransfers.com for customs and www.transfers.com. But please hit that subscribe button, guys. I am trying to reach... Um, my goal right now is 500 followers or 500 subscribers, um, so I would love it if you guys would subscribe, follow along. Um, I try to post every week, but I post a lot of shorts and everything in between then, so you kind of get to see the inside of what we do in our transfer business, but I will see you guys next week.